This one is called Two Those Kids. This is to the kids, to the worms, mud, and cooties. To the kids like me that spent hours in the principal's office being ruled like we're on death row. I plead you, do not lose your fire. Because you guys will be the leaders. The kids will be on top. The M&Ms, the stars, the billionaires. You've chosen to not be pushing your boundaries and get a better view of this. It is for you. When I was in elementary school, I was sent to the office for punching this kid, going to the teacher's lounge, talking back, climbing on the trailers, vandalizing a picture of a principal, just stupid stuff. I was sent to the office because I didn't want to be treated like a lab rat. I got the class at the sound of a bell. I did the class at the sound of a bell. And if I behaved, I was the gold star. No. Schools have become a valium to the creative mind. I used to be creative and push my limits, but eventually I began to come to the dulling ways of schooling. And I stopped like an art class. I started liking math. Not the beauty of lines and what they make up, but the slope and area beneath those lines. It wasn't until senior year in creative writing that my eyes were reopened and creative creativity that I possessed. I pursued a kid, the old me, the one that wanted to be Spider-Man so he could climb on top of the school. The one that would climb trees and play spies and didn't care what the girl thought of him. And instead after if she wanted to if she too wanted to play. To those kids do not lose that fire, that creativity. Do not lose that fire. I quote from Pablo Picasso. Every child is an artist. The problem is staying an artist when you grow up. Amen.